dear students we are going to glance through myasthenia gravis in a minute myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease where the auto antibodies are produced against the post synaptic acetylcholine receptors in the neuromuscular junction so because of the autoimmune attack on the neuromuscular junction the muscles of the patient become weak it is a disease more common in females it has a biphasic peak of onset it is more common in less than 40 years and also after the age of 60 years it affects the skeletal muscles strength of skeletal muscles it doesn't affect the smooth muscles or cardiac muscles and the most important feature is progressive fatigability so the symptoms are fatigable ptosis ptosis means drooping of eyelids double vision or diplopia difficulty in chewing dysphagia and weakness of the limb muscles but because of the fatigability the symptoms are worse as the disease as the day passes diurnal fluctuations of symptoms are there and after periods of activity the symptoms are worse these are the important investigations in myasthenia gravis one is the acetylcholine receptor antibody assay it is a blood test similarly muscle specific kinase antibody assay and a ct chest can be done to rule out thymoma thymoma has a close association with myasthenia gravis the two electrophysiological tests which are done are repetitive nerve stimulation and single fiber emg in the treatment the drugs which are used for the treatment are neostigmine and pyridostigmine they are the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors immunomodulatory drugs like steroids and immunosuppressant drugs thymectomy is a treatment option in myasthenia gravis and myasthenic crisis is a situation where patients may develop severe respiratory failure where it is managed with iv immunoglobulins plasma exchange along with ventilatory support and icu care that is myasthenia gravis at a glance